Greetings Mech Warriors, good to see ya! My name is TTB and of course today we are still going strong in Mech Warrior 5. I want to show you guys all the mechs that are currently in the game by weight class. So this video we're going to cover the light mechs and uh, representative for light mechs I have here the Wolfhound. Beautiful, beautiful light mech, one of my favorites in all of Battletech with the camouflage type hot rod. Now let's go into the light mechs, let's have a look at the models that are available, let's have a look at the weapons that they carry in their standard loadouts and of course you can customize that a little bit but uh, there are some limits as some of the hard points will be of a different size and I will also go uh, exemplary in an exemplary way into some of the um, builds in there and some of the models in there and we'll try to see from MechWarrior Online to MechWarrior 5 what's the difference like for example is there a certain build that you would do in MechWarrior Online that you can't do here anymore because of size restrictions. Now we're starting with the Commando and for the Commando there are a lot of options available maybe let's look at the Death's Nell here this thing comes with hard points for medium lasers okay so if you look at that the hard points are pretty much the same as in MechWarrior Online, but the question is, can we fit medium pulse lasers? Let's see if that is possible. I'm just playing around here, guys. I won't, I won't go into this much detail for all the builds, but um, we could do that, but we would go heavily over tonnage. Now, the problem is here, guys, you cannot go ahead and switch out the engine. There is no engine that you can switch out here, so unless, unless we get... XL engines at some point or whatnot, and it doesn't look like it is in here. The standard Death Snell build that you would use in MechWarrior Online for medium pulse lasers is not going to be possible in MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Instead, you will have to settle for four medium lasers. Okay, that is good to know. So, Let's have a look at the different commando models. We've got the one Bravo. This one comes with large laser, medium laser, SRM-2 in the center torso. There's also the one Delta with SRM-6 CT and large laser in the right arm. Then we have the commando 2D, SRM-6, SRM-4 and medium laser. That thing sounds like a nice tiny little fast brawler. The 3A, oh that is even better. Double SRM-6, medium laser and a flamer. And the Death Snell as we already discussed four medium lasers. That should be fun. Then we have a look at the fire starter. Fire starter models available are five in total. Let's first look at the alpha. The alpha comes with uh, flamers in the CT as well as in the right arm and left arm and then two small lasers and two medium lasers. So that would be a nice mech to overheat targets and then get in their backs and then shoot them where it actually hurts big time. Next one is the Ember Hero mech. This thing comes with four flamers and four machine guns. I want to have a look at this one real quick, guys, because there's a difference to Mech Warrior Online. Now, in Mech Warrior Online, flamers do not do damage. I mean, they do damage, but it's so minuscule that you would have to put your flamers onto an Atlas for about 10 minutes or so before it dies. So, here, however, flamers do two damage. Um, it looks like that is, is that per second? It doesn't, it doesn't really tell. It says rate of fire 600 rounds per minute. So, is that two damage? with uh, 10 rounds per second. That will be 20 damage per second? I don't know. That is something that we will have to test on live stream, guys. But uh, long story short, it actually does damage. So that means that once the flame rock shoots to the armor, the machine guns should have a lot of fun with the um, internals behind it. But it also doesn't state here that the machine guns crit. So instead, the machine guns do a fixed amount of damage and that is also going to be to armor. So in total, in summary, what I would say, this mech seems to be a lot more dangerous in MechWarrior 5 than it would be in MechWarrior Online. That is the TD the too long didn't read. Okay, then we also have the fire starter. The fire starter comes with two flamers, two medium lasers, and four machine guns, so it just ex uh, exchanges two medium lasers for um, the flamers that are on the ember. The fire starter hotel has uh, flamers, medium lasers, and machine guns quite a bit of them actually. Yeah, it has more hard points for energy weapons, but less hard points for machine guns. So another trade here. And the Kilo, last but not least, has two flamers, two small lasers and a large laser, so has the ability to actually engage targets at longer range with the large laser and then close the distance and then start hitting with the small lasers and the flamers. Okay, now we get to the one flea that we have. That is a little bit sad. I like the fleas. They're just cute. Like, I, I want a flea plushie or something. So, the flea comes with a flamer, two medium lasers, two small lasers, and two machine guns. Um, 
this actually doesn't sound too bad. I mean, you can start overheating the enemy, you can uh, chew through his armor with all of this, and you should probably be able to shoot this quite a bit without overheating. So this looks like a nice setup for this 20-ton little rascal. Then we've got the javelins. Those should be missile builds. Let's have a look at that. Okay, starting off with the 10F, which has no missiles at all. <laughs> um, but I knew that already. So these are four medium lasers. That should be a solid light mech build, um, comparable to the Death Snell, I think. But let's see, how much armor does the Death Snell have? 176, and the javelin has 182. So a little bit more armor, jump height. Uh, all the Death Snell has zero, the Javelin can jump 64 meters, so it looks like the Javelin's gonna be the better mech, period. Okay, then we have the 10N, and there we have our SRMs, two SRM6s, that should be fun to use, it's a fun light brawler. The 10P has two Streak 2s and an SRM6, this would be really nice to start hunting down some of the lighter mechs in the game. And the high there, that is the one that has two SRM6s and four medium lasers, this thing is actually not a joke in terms of firepower. The alpha strength of this thing hits hard, and if that hits you in the back, hmm, that's gonna hurt. Okay, then we have a fatty in the light department, the Jenner. Starting up with the Jenner Delta, four medium lasers and an SRM4, nice medium to close range mech. The Jenner 7F, that will be four medium lasers and nothing else. So you have, a, you have actually a lot more armor on the 7F loadout than uh, the General 7D, but I think that is due to the SRM4 just taking up all this additional weight that you are not using here in the 7F, and you can just put that towards armor. General 7K, that thing, again, SRM4 and medium lasers, it's actually basically the same loadout as the 7D. What is the difference between those two? Is it armor? Three armor difference. That is not the difference. So what is the difference here? Same speed... Same firepower, same cooling, same jump height. There is no difference. Okay. Looking at these builds, there literally is no difference. Okay. All right. Then the difference might be somewhere else. That is where we have to look deeper. So what kind of slots do we have? Actually, hang on. Let me just remove this. Two medium energy slots and a small missile slot. Okay. Two medium energy, four medium energy and a small missile. Now we go to the other Jenner. We'll get that thing, and we get to the same conclusion. So, um, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you see a difference, but I, at this point, do not, which makes this a little bit weird. But we have the Oxide here. This thing comes... <laughs> <laughs> the standard build is two LRM5s and two SRM4s. Uh, I would probably build this into an SRM4 brawler, and then it should be a lot of fun. Um, LRM5s are just, just I, I don't, I don't like the taste of LRM5s. They are puny weapons that I don't enjoy. Then we have the locusts. Ah, also little rascals right here with 20 tons. We have the 1E with two medium lasers and two small lasers. We've got the 1M with one medium laser and two LRM5, so that is your scout slash long range support with one medium laser at close range to say, I'm helping. Then we've got the 1V. This one has one medium laser and two machine guns. Yeah, no. The 3S comes with a medium laser and two streak SRM2s, all right. And the 3V comes with two medium lasers and two machine guns. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if there is ever going to be a use case for Max like the Locust and the Light Max. It really depends whether PGI has actually designed missions that can only be done with a certain weight class because you need the speed, or that can only be done with a certain weight class because the tonnage is limited by design. If they did that, then it's going to be really, really cool. Other than that, you will have the same thing as in Mech Warrior 4 mercenaries, where in the end you just run around with literally eight assault mechs and just murder everything. Okay, then we have the Panther. Those guys should come with either autocannons or most likely PPCs, so let's we'll have a look at that. The 10P comes with double AC2 and an SRM2. Nice, a little bit of Daka in here. SRM4 and large laser on the 8Z. The 9R comes with SRM4 and PPC and the Katana Cat. Will we see double PPC? Yes, there is the double PPC on the Katana Cat plus the SRM4. But I will probably remove the SRM4 and just add a little bit more cooling in there and just use it as a scout slash sniper. Um, notable though, guys, the speed on the Panthers. <laughs> this The fastest one goes 88, 81 kph, then it goes 64 kph. So this is basically a sort of next speed. Um, 
The problem with those stock engines is that a lot of mechs will be a lot slower than what you're used to from MechWarrior Online, and that, that will take some getting used to. For example, the Annihilator is as fast as the Urban Mech, and both have half the speed of, let's say, a Grasshopper. So, um, speed might be something that you need to adapt with your mech lance builds. And we'll also go, by the way, guys, I'm also planning to do mech lance builds. Uh, Titus actually said in uh, one of the video premieres in chat that uh, it would be an interesting idea to basically come to come together with some specific lance builds for a light lance, a medium lance, heavy and assault, so it is able to deal with a, with a variety of situations. So, we'll have that as well. Now, we also have the ravens here. Uh, Ravens. Oh, uh, we got a 2x with large laser, medium laser, and SRM6. Two medium lasers, actually. We've got the 4x with two machine guns, SRM6, and two medium lasers. That is your brawler Raven. All of them go 81 kph apparently. And then we have the Raven Hugin Hero Mech, and that thing actually goes 130 kph. It has streak SRM2, SRM6, and four machine guns. That thing should be fun because it's fast. It is fast. And it doesn't sacrifice armor, which is really, really nice. But it doesn't have to because the machine guns are pretty light. Then we have the spider. But guys, remember, machine guns are only worth it if you have them in large numbers. Four is the minimum of what I would consider worth it. Well, then uh, there are the spiders. Magic Pangloff is going to slap me, but... Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> We've got the 5D here with a medium laser and a flamer, very under-weaponized. We've got the 5K with a medium laser and two machine guns, very under-weaponized for the size of the mech or for the for the tonnage of the mech. We've got the 5V with two medium lasers. Um, I mean, the speed is okay, the jump range is amazing, of course, on the spiders, but that's literally all there is. Now, here is the interesting one. Here's the Anansi Hero mech, and that thing has an SRM4, two medium lasers, two machine guns, and double AMS. That could be interesting to cover your teammates or your landsmates from being shot down by missiles. So the question is now how effective is AMS in MechWarrior 5 Mercs um, as opposed to MechWarrior Online? Hmm. Looks like another video. And by the way, guys, uh, if you want to join me in one of these videos, you should definitely head on over to my Discord. The link is in the video description below, and uh, we can go ahead and play some core missions together on stream or whenever I'm uh, recording. I will always let you guys know on Discord. Then we have the Urban Mechs, the power of the Urban Mech. Uh, unfortunately, it's a very slow power in uh, Mech Warrior 5 Mercs. So um, let's start with the K9, that's the Hero Mech. Uh, two small lasers, a large laser, and an Ultra AC5. You saw this build in my first impressions video where I outdamaged <laughs> my Lance Assault mates in that uh, sup supposedly extra difficulty mis uh, mission. Um, if you look at the loadout, I'm gonna showcase you the difference between this mech here in Mech Warrior 5 versus Mech Warrior Online. And the problem is, in Mech Warrior 5, this thing comes with five hard points for energy weapons. Uh, Mech Warrior 4, uh, Mech Warrior Online. In Mech Warrior 5, it has three hard points for energy weapons and a ballistic slot. Okay, so but here, here comes the problem, guys. These energy slots are too small and large, so you couldn't even fit three medium pulse lasers on here. You definitely can't fit five on there because you're limited by the slots available. That means that you're pretty much uh, down into the range of having to use a medium Daka, and that could be an AC-10, by the way, or a burst fire AC-10, or it can, can this be a, no, it can't fit. Okay, that's a large ballistic weapon, it cannot fit. So, ballot only, there we go. So, you could have a solid slug, LB-10 in there, and some small lasers, that's fine. But you can put, for example, a, let's say a small laser in the large energy slot, that is not a problem. But you cannot put, of course, a large energy weapon or a medium energy weapon into a small slot. That will not work. So the builds will be a lot different from MechWarrior Online. Okay, so we had a look at the K9. Let's have another look at the rest of the Urbis here. That's the R60. This one comes with a small laser and an AC-10. Only two hard points here. Um, actually, same armor as the K9, but a lot less firepower. And there's the R60L. That thing comes with an AC-20. So this thing... Let's have a look at it in the loadout screen. This should have a large slot now here. Yep, large ballistic slot. So this thing can actually... Is it... Yes, yes, guys. <laughs> the Gauss Urban Mech is gonna be a thing. I don't care. We're gonna make it happen somehow. The Gauss Urbi is going to happen. <laughs> I'm happy now. I saw a Gauss rifle on Urban Mech. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy now. I can, I can die like a happy man now. Well, and then there's also the Urban Mech Street Cleaner. That thing, once again, small laser and AC-10. And now we're in the Wolfhounds. There are three different variants of the Wolfhound. Sadly, no Grinner. 
Uh, the Wolfhound 1, 5 energy hard points that comes with 4 medium lasers and a large laser that is a standard Wolfhound build. The 1A, it comes with 4 medium lasers, no, 3 medium lasers and a large laser. So slightly less weaponized, which means less firepower. Same speed, a little bit better cooling. And then the one Bravo, this thing comes with... Same as the one... 4 medium lasers and a large laser. I'm trying to find a difference here between them. Same firepower, same armor, same cooling. Well, if there is a difference, uh, I don't see it from this screen, but you guys can let me know in the comments below. Well, there you have it. Those are the light mechs. I hope you guys got an idea now of what's available for the lights, as well as some of the differences to Mech Warrior Online. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button to be notified of all my new videos. And if you really, really enjoy this content, well, there is always Patreon for you. Go ahead and join the ranks of Team TTB. That's it for me. Take care, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.